Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to introduce the concept of regular polygons. So to help us out, I brought in a regular kid to help us talk about regular polygons. I'm not regular, I'm special! Well, right now, for this purpose of this video, you're regular. <sighs> okay. Well, a regular polygon is a polygon that is both equilateral and equiangular. So our favorite is the equilateral triangle, because an equilateral triangle is both equilateral and equiangular. So that triangle is a regular triangle. Okay. How about a quadrilateral? Can you think of any quadrilaterals that might be regular? A square? Yes, a square. Why is a square regular? Because all of the sides are the same length, and all of the angles are the same. Excellent. Yep. But a rectangle, it's got all the same angles. Yeah, but the sides aren't the same. Length. You're right. And then, what about a rhombus? Rhombus has got, the sides are all the same. Well, the rhombus is like a tilted square, so the angles are different from each other. That is correct. So there you go. You heard it from a regular kid that a square is a regular quadrilateral, but our rectangle and our rhombus are not. And he is exactly correct. So thank you very much for your help. We appreciate it. It was a very special performance by a regular kid. I got a regular special! Uh, would you rather have a regular performance by a special kid? Or a special performance by a regular kid? I can't decide. Alright, All right. thank you for your help. Goodbye. So let's take a look at some formulas for regular polygons. Our first one is the measure of the exterior angle of a regular polygon is 360 divided by n, where n is the number of vertices or sides of that regular polygon. So here we have a regular hexagon, so we know that the sum of the exterior angles equals 360, So, and there are six vertices, so we can just divide by 6, or n, and 360 divided by 6 is 60. So we know each exterior angle of a regular hexagon is 60 degrees. And we also know that the exterior angle and the interior angle are supplements. So if this is some measure x, we know the interior angle is 180 minus x. So it's easy to see here that in this hexagon, that interior angle is going to be 120 degrees, but that also leads us to our second formula, and that is the interior angle of a regular polygon is essentially the supplement of the exterior angle, or 180 minus 360 over n, or 180 minus whatever that particular exterior angle is. So let's take a look at a couple sample problems. If each interior angle of a regular polygon is 108 degrees, how many sides does the polygon have? Well, on a problem like this, I like to draw what looks like the interior and the exterior angle of one polygon. And it doesn't really matter how many sides it has. I'll just do one of the vertices. So I know that the interior is 108. Well, since I know that these are supplements, I should know that the exterior angle is 72. And using my exterior angle formula, the exterior angle of 72 will equal 360 divided by n. So multiply both sides by n, divide by 72, and we get n is equal to 360 divided by 72, and n equals 5. So this polygon must be a pentagon. In fact, it's not just a pentagon, it is a regular pentagon, because I said it's a regular polygon. It's not just any old pentagon. And our second sample problem, 
We want to calculate the measure of the interior angle of a regular dodecagon. So this is a question of have you memorized the names of the polygons and this the dodecagon has 12 sides or n equals 12 and the interior angle then must be the supplement to the exterior angle so it's equal to 180 minus 360 over 12 so my interior angle is equal to 180 minus 360 divided by 12 is 30. So it is equal to 150 degrees. So the measure of the interior angle of a regular dodecagon is 150 degrees. So there is the application of a couple of formulas for regular polygons. And hopefully we can remember that a regular polygon is both equilateral and equiangular. So the sides are congruent and all the angles are congruent. And the help of our special guest today uh, gave us a nice hand in that and telling us why a rectangle and a rhombus are not regular, but a square is a regular quadrilateral. So with that, we'll work more on this when I see you in class.